again a very common question especially at the architect cloud architect uh, level positions is to explain what is well architected framework earlier aws had one version now azure has released uh, their own uh, well architected framework but it's pretty much the same it's it's pretty much i would say copy paste of what aws was doing so how you start going about explaining i have seen uh, in the interviews people would start explaining the things that they would have followed in their projects or they will say it's a three tier architecture is well architected uh, something like that but being it's driven by aws and azure they don't restrict it to some specific uh, architecture framework uh, but what in reality it is uh, a set of uh, best practices that they believe that people should follow, uh, which will help, you know, ensuring that the applications are well architected. So basically, it's just a, some sort of guidelines, best practices that uh, the cloud providers recommend. Just just get an uh, overview of uh, what those uh, five areas are. Uh, mainly, these are these are five areas. They have. Uh, come up with another sixth area, sustainability uh, pillar. Uh, but don't focus too much on that. That's more for for an environment friendly uh, stuff. But from a from from an architect uh, point of view, uh, focus on um, security, the the cost, the reliability, the operational excellence, and the performance efficiency. So these um, five areas uh, try to explain uh, in in slightly more detail that. Uh, ensure that the application security has been taken care of the environment where it's going to land uh, that has been taken care of um, it's following the uh, best practices in that space ensuring that the application is uh, cost effective so you using the right services which are useful for that uh, type of application uh, you have made those decisions uh, ensuring that operationally you will be able to manage uh, this application it, its cost and effectiveness will not uh, go away when you roll it out to uh, in the production or higher environments the application is reliable can it recover from failures uh, you have designed such solutions instead of using an ec2 EC you have used an auto scaling group which means if something goes wrong with that set that that ec2 instance the auto scaling group will recover automatically. So ensuring such uh, good practices uh, means that you have taken care of uh, its liability uh, point of view. So uh, these are the uh, set of guidelines. You try to explain them and say that if you have followed uh, these best practices suggested in these five areas, that is that will be considered as a well architected application, not necessarily a three tier application or uh, any uh, microservices architecture that does or does not necessarily mean that it is well architected. I hope uh, you can handle this uh, this kind of question if you get in your interview. Uh, 